Oh my god! Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Amori. <laughs> so, we finally left that big ass castle. <laughs> I'm so happy we're done because it was driving me nuts <laughs> being in there. Um, but yeah, we are back into the real world and someone's knocking on our door. Most likely it's Kel, older Kel. But yeah, we'll see what Kel has in store for us. <laughs> All right, Amore. Ooh, can I go in here? Okay, no. All right. Hey. Hello. Hello. Sunny, are you there? Yeah, that's Cal, all right. What would you like to do? Open the door, yes. See, I'm curious to see like if we just do nothing and do we just like not do things in the real world and go back to headspace but we'll open the door anyway because i'm curious <laughs> hey cal hi sunny top of the morning to you <laughs> well more like noon actually it turns out harold's not coming back until around t dinner today so I thought I'd drop by a little later mom is having me buy some stuff at faraway plaza before he comes back and I thought it might be f funner if we went together did you want to come along Sonny of course you do come on let's go okay damn I didn't have a choice in this cow <laughs> shit okay let's go we <laughs> so there are a few things that, um, oh, Kel smells. <laughs> what the heck? What happened here? Dang it. It must have been Aubrey and the scooter gang. Sonny, be honest. Do I smell? Maybe. I mean, if you're, you're super athletic and you sweat a lot, probably maybe. <laughs> oh. All right. Kel, you're so silly. All right, so I know that there's some people that we do have to meet, because the last time you were here, we met some people at like the the hardware store and stuff like that. And um, they're like, oh yeah, come by. Um, we'll do something, I don't know. <laughs> so I I'm wondering if I can do that now or if it's the proper day. <gasps> Ooh, knock knock. There's no response, okay. I'm sad now. Okay, how about this one? Knock knock. There's no response, okay. Shit. Okay. This one's Basil's house, yes. Oh, hello. Basil hasn't been taking care of his flowers lately. Hope he feels better soon. His flowers need him. Oh yeah, speaking of flowers, um, I need to go back into headspace and water those flowers. Knock, knock. No response, okay. Ooh, ooh, how about this house, knock, knock. No response, okay. Oh, oh, hello, hello, yes, yes. Bah, my dog, Lucas, ran out of the door again. He's always trying to get out of the house. Sometimes I wonder if he only lives here for the food. <sighs> Where'd he go this time? Okay. So she's looking for her dog. Okay, and then this is the church. Ooh. Oh, I found a coin. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm rich. Oh, is there anyone in the church? Oh, hello. 
I've been getting a strange feeling from the cemetery here all day today. Oh, you don't say a strange feeling, you say. So you're saying I should explore, yes? A grand piano. Yes, I should go and explore. Let's do this. Oh, oh the cemetery. Flowers. More flowers. A headstone. Ooh. Oh, so what a teddy bear. A teddy bear. Oh. A headstone. Hello, old man. Something in the air seems amiss lately. The spirits, they are howling. It sounds like they're preparing a welcoming party. Someone close by may be joining them soon. What's with that look? Do you think I'm crazy or something? Don't be so quick to judge. You'd believe too if you've seen what I've seen. That's why I'm making the face because I've seen some shit, Grandpa. <laughs> Bread. Smells toasty. Ooh, okay, whoever likes bread, damn. Ooh, puzzles. Puzzle pieces. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, this one's all shiny. Our dearest... Our dearest Mari? The sun shined brighter when she was here. Mari, it feels like so long ago already. I still think about her all the time. I'm sure you do too. Y you know, when Mari passed away, Hiro, Hiro really stopped caring about everything. He didn't want to get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped taking care of himself, stopped baking and cooking it was like it it was like that for almost a year mom and dad did not know what to do either we all tried to help them and be supportive but nothing was really working one night i went over to him while he was all huddled in his blankets and started saying stuff stuff like we all miss him and how we want him to get better how everyone is really worried how Mari wouldn't want to see him like this. I thought it was helping him, but... But Hiro... Hiro got angry. He suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. Some of it was pretty hurtful too, but I think I blocked out a lot of it. His eyes were already super red, but the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I tried my best to calm him down, but whatever I said just made him worse. I had never seen Hiro do anything close to that before. It really took me by surprise, and I was so scared that I... Well, I started crying too. Eventually, Mom and Dad ran to our room and rushed over to hug him and, call and calm him down. But they completely ignored me. <laughs> I think that's where Hiro got his senses back, because he ran to me and hugged me right away. Just kept apologizing over and over. But at least Hiro got a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more and joining a bunch of extra curricular stuff. He's naturally good at everything, but he still works really hard, so I'm proud of him. I guess he's a, a little more closed off now than he used to be, but I'm really just glad to have my brother back. Anyways, sorry for the long story. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. It's not his fault, but I still think Hiro blames himself for Mari's death. Hiro's never vi visited here. Not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it might be good for him. I don't know. Oh, poor Hiro. I mean, he did really like Mari. Like, I don't blame him for, like, not wanting to 
see the grave like that's some really heavy emotional stuff <sighs> now i'm sad <laughs> fuck a white egret orchid in the language of flowers it symbolizes the phrase my thoughts will follow you into your dreams is that so because that thing is there is mari technically following us in our dreams so she's always there in our dreams is that the case but anyways <laughs> uh ooh, what is this the symbol of faraway town it's supposed to, to represent a gateway to a better life you remember learning about it in class when you were in elementary school but you can't remember all the details of course we don't well, that was interesting. Ooh, 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 let's check out the park. Oh, trash, trash. Ooh, I got trash. Ooh, I got more trash. Oh, hello, people. Award-winning pie, ooh. Hey, neighbor, how's it going? Hey, Kel. Oh, and who else is with you? Oh, wait, I recognize you. It's Sunny, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. My family has always lived here, but I was sent off to boarding school for a few years and just came back about three years ago, I think. Hey, Sunny, Chris is my next door neighbor and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid. Or a shark. Or even a torpedo. <laughs> oh my god, Kel. <laughs> oh, Kel, you're never short on compliments. <laughs> Are, aren't you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll get... You, I'm sure you'll be a, a shoe in <laughs> Well, I'll try. I've been playing every now and then with strangers at, at, at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. <laughs> but if I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Oh, I'm not that hardworking. It feels like fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, I must sound a little obsessed. That's totally fine. It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. Actually, I think this all started because I went to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. The ocean reminds me of the friends I made there. I hope maybe I can see them again one day. But, for the time being, I guess I'll just be, be collecting seashells and stuff interesting you know that story kind of reminded me of this but sunny is actually moving away from here really soon maybe you can give him some tips on it on how to handle moving away to a new place oh sunny is moving hmm well being away from my friends was pretty tough at first but change is just a fact of life it's the memories we make with them that we should cherish you know what I just decided something. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. Ooh. Do I have any? Ooh, hey, you found a sea seashell. I'm sure I, I have some. Ooh, I gave the seashell. Wow, it's such a cute one. <laughs> Thank you. What do you give me? The blue-haired girl is f uh, fiddling with something in her hands. Hey, no peeking. What are you giving me? Hello? Hi, Kellen, Sunny. If you see any seashells, can you bring it to me? They're kind of hard to find around here. Okay, is she gonna give me a necklace? I think she's gonna give me a necklace or a bracelet. Or a shell bracelet. What a lovely day for a picnic. I brought my specialties, chicken pot pie, lemon pie, and of course, my world famous apple pie. Interesting. Ugh, making patties is hard work, but once I sink my teeth into that tender, juicy burger, it's gonna all be worth it. <laughs> mm, I can almost taste it now. Dear, pay attention. The patties are burning. Oh, shoot. Thanks, hun. That was close. 
god. All American dad. Hi, Basil. H hey, Kel. Hey, Sunny. Sup, Basil. Nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after yesterday? Uh huh. Y yesterday? What? Uh, what do you mean? You had a big stomach ache. I don't think Basil. Did Basil forget? Basil, did you forget? That's why you you had to go to the bathroom. Uh, 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 uh oh right. Yes, I feel much better now. Did you want to hang out with us today? Sunny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. I don't think Basil wants. I don't think Basil wants to have anything to do with us right now, Kel. I don't know. M maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. I really hope Basil is fine at the end of all this, though. I hope we get to the bottom of, like, what's constantly bothering Basil. Oh, uh, okay, then. See you later, then, I guess. Okay, bye, Basil. Goodbye. Ooh, more trash. Thank you. Ooh, and more trash. Ah, yes. Oh, hello. Hey, pals. Good to see you. These new recyclist folk that have been showing up here, showing up are making a real big change around here. This is the first time I've seen so many people taking the initiative to pick up trash. Makes my job a whole lot easier. <laughs> Something about them feels a little fishy, though. Right. Yeah, these guys. Anyways. Ooh, more trash. Ooh, I got some trash. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the bakery in Other Mart. Lead the way, Sunny. All right. I'll lead the way. Oh, hello. As I was saying, can you believe? And her... But then, mm hmm <laughs> That was like the time we, yeah. And then, honestly, I think that, yes, definitely. Well, way to like whisper so, so low. Yes, I would like to throw a coin in the fountain. The coin fell straight to the bottom. Oh yes, I see coins at the, at, at the fountain, yes, at the bottom. A sleek silver scooter. Ooh. Oh, but what is this one? I want the fancy one. <laughs> oh, hello. Yo, I'm Michael, a soon-to-be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at the Town Plaza for years now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything would help. How much do you want to donate? I'm dirt poor, as you can see. I'm very poor. Nothing. This is Guitar Guy's donation block. You donated zero dollars to Guitar Guy. Oh, hello. Yesterday, while I was eating a banana, I found a cool overgrown lake area just behind the park. But soon after, a bunch of hooligans on scooters rolled in and kicked me out. And to make matters worse, they even threw away my banana. <sighs> I can't let a bunch of kids, of kids boss me around. I'm an adult now. A young adult, at least. Right. <laughs> being, a, being a young adult doesn't mean that you're a fully a, a full-fledged adult, sir. Oh, the gang is there. Okay. Gino's Pizza is the bomb. This one, this, uh, this is one disgusting, dirty, greasy-looking cheese pizza, just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So. Munch, 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 munch. We're still on to go to our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> Made of myself. Out of a cool stick and a and a jump rope yesterday. Do you think it, it, it will work, Charlie? Charlie is a man of no words. 
<laughs> so we're going to our secret hangout spot. That's a perfect date spot. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming. Sounds munch, 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 munch. <laughs> Pretty fun. Well, while you're all fooling around being babies, I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the perfect rocks all week. <laughs> you can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Mikhail. Like, any girls would actually wanna go, go to the lake with you without you paying them. I told you to call me the maver- I bit my tongue! <laughs> oh god. What a loser. For Master, are you hurt? You- Oh, you'll pay for this, Kim? <laughs> oh god. Jeez, okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and get our Gino's Pizza. Hello, and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Hi, Un. I'm here to pick up an order. I see. Well, what would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? Nom nom nom. <laughs> I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. You're right. I guess so. <laughs> Is he salt that we didn't order a pizza? <laughs> okay, I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's n nickname is Hero. You think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something? But no, he just really likes sandwiches. That's really funny, actually. <laughs> okay, here is your Hero sandwich. Please enjoy. You got Kel's pizza order. Hey, om nom nom. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Now we just need to get the cookies from, from the bakery and other mart. All right, I'm nom nom getting some cookies, cookies. <sighs> Dang it, I'm trying to fix this old arcade machine but I'm missing a rare important piece. It looks like it was just bitten off right here. I wonder where it could be. Right. Sunny and Kel, oh, what are you doing here? Don't you know it's rude to bother people while they're eating? Okay, damn. Fuck you too, bitch. Jeez. Ooh, can you give me more juice? So would you like some orange juice? No. Okay, that's fine. As long as you're, you're not buying any apple juice. Can we go and fix it? Ooh, yes. Hello. Ooh, Ooh hello. Hmm. Which floor lamp should I get? The pink one? The blue one? The plain one? The fancy one? Why does this even matter? It all looks like trash to me anyway. Ugh, I hate decisions. I think I'm gonna throw up. Sucks to be you. Grumble, grumble. Okay. <laughs> oh? Uh-oh. Hey, uh, Sunny? Let's go somewhere else. Kel's son, is that you? <gasps> That's Kel's dad? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be doing errands for your mom? Oh, hi, Dad. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Come on, Sonny. Don't we have that really important thing we gotta go to? Yeah, we should go. Don't want to be late. Oh, all right then. See you later, champ. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is so funny. And nothing here. All right, let's go. All right. Let's go to the bakery. My mom placed an order there. She placed an order for everything. Like, your mom is a good mom. What? 
Why are we seeing images of Mari? That is so fucked up. Anyways, let's let's continue in the mart. Oh my god. Hi hi, it's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. What would you like today, Smiley Smiley? Nothing, because everything's expensive as hell. Please come again or else. Smiley Smiley, you are very forceful, miss. <laughs> Mincy is diligently sketching away. Oh, aren't you? Aren't you? A cardboard cutout of the shop owner. Seems a bit much. Yeah, it is a bit much. But if you have lots of pride and joy in something, especially in your job, might as well show off. Show it off. Thick eyebrows. Yes, I understand completely. Yes, I understand that. Joy, I know joy. You don't understand anything they are saying. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Oh, the bakery's open for once. Interesting. Before I go, there's anything in the pharmacy? Oh, hello, sir. Let's see. What medication would help the most for a 30 hour flight? Um, melatonin, lots and lots of melatonin. Or I could just have Aubrey headbutt you and you'll be knocked out for at least a week. <laughs> That'll work. All right, let's go to the bakery. Fresh bread, fresh bread. Would you like some fresh bread? No, not from creepy twins from you. <laughs> We've been running this bakery for four generations, ever since my mom sailed here from across the sea. I hope one day my children will be able to carry on the, the tradition of managing this bakery. It would mean the world to me and my husband. Right. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hiya! I'm here to pick up an order. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, your mother said you'd be coming, though I expected you to be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. I'm sorry, I was trying to explore and shit. Did you know, this bakery belongs to Mikhail's family. Oh, that's why he has money that he can flaunt around, Jesus. I guess he can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. He doesn't want to inherit that family business. Here's your order, sir. We hope to see you soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. You got Kel's bakery order. Awesome. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. All right, Kel, awesome. Okay, we're gonna leave, off we go. Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Well, that's everything. And just in time too. It looks like the sun is about to set. Let's go back to my house. Hero should be coming home any time now. Okay, but, okay. Anything in hobbies? Why is the game doing this to me? Why is the game doing this to me? I'm not liking these little memory things. I work at the candy store, but I like to come here on breaks. There's always something new to look at, so I'm never bored. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to, start to shop here. Of course, of course. Hobbies isn't just a hobby shop, it's a pawn shop too. I'll buy anything you don't want. Well, what did you want to sell today? Nothing, because I need those. <laughs> All right. Oh, good dog, bark bark. Is that the lost dog? Wait, is that the lost dog? Oh, hello. <gasps> oh, we can go inside. <gasps> we found the lost dog. <sighs> Lucas, don't worry me like that. Hey, did you send Lucas back here? I'm sorry for the trouble. Here, take this. <gasps> oh, I got a paintbrush. Oh, let's go. 
Mark, 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 <laughs> you got trash. Oh, I got trash! <laughs> Yay! Oh, God. Okay. A big fish bowl. There's at least two goldfish in here. They look healthy. That's good. Lucas's dog bed. It seems to have outgrown it a bit. Y yeah, I, I can see. A stuffed animal. It's seen better days. <laughs> Ooh, this cookie toy. Some cheap paints. Do you have anything in your fridge? A, a refrigerator. Open it. Sure. Milk, tea, and fried fish cake. Interesting. Ooh. A classical painting. And then another classical painting. And another one. A mirror. Ooh. And another mirror. Beautiful bathroom. Beautiful. Very nice. Ooh. A checkerboard. Ah. Do you want to go through faux facts? Sure. Faux facts by Angel. Oh, this is Angel's house? I'm artist number one predator. <laughs> okay. Stupid, smelly, stinky poop. Oh my god. The shade. <laughs> Quiet. I uh, mystery knife that is apparently a mori and that is it oh thank you for reading <laughs> thank you I appreciate that <laughs> that was funny a bunch of small figurines that was funny the bed is a, a little on the soft side but overall not too bad you would rate it a 7 out of 10 Interesting. Hey, this bed is on the floor. You are not sure how to rate this. <laughs> Look, the bed, as long as he can sleep, it's doing his job, right? An unfinished painting. Very interesting, very interesting. Okay. So I went back to um, deposit the trash and we got seven whole dollars, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and come back for Cal. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff and, well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. You, you did. So, I think you should walk in first. That way she'll see you first and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. See, it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> Got it? Okay, let's go. Cal, this is gonna be, this is gonna backfire. Mom, Sonny's here! What took you so long, Kel? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that Sonny? It must be! It's so good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom! You gave the bakery order and pizza order to Kel's mom. Hurry, Sonny, let's go upstairs to my bedroom. Now wait just a second, young man. Bye, mom. See you when dinner is done. <laughs> He's like, peace. Fuck you, mom. I'm out. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. The door is locked. Ugh, fine. A bunch of family photos. Kel sure has a lot of relatives. I like how just like wholesome Kel's house looks like. It looks very inclusive, like family oriented. Think you can hold it a bit longer, Sonny? I, I, I wanna show you my room first. Okay. Wow. Well, here it is. 
Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. Yep, it's pretty sweet. Oh. Okay, Kel. Okay, Kel. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh. Mom won't let me play it play it too loud. Though, because she says it's bad for Sally. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. She 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 won't let you do that. That's fine. Oh wait. You haven't met Sally yet, huh? Yeah, who who's Sally? Is that the dog outside? <laughs> Guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now. <gasps> you have a sister? Oh. Sally's my baby sister. My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She, she's really small and really cute. <laughs> Kel, there's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Huh? I, I, I wonder who that could be. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Who is at the door, Mama? Oh, is that... Oh, Polly! Hey, Kel. Hey, Sunny. Uh, sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Hmm... We did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Right. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this. Especially with Aubrey and the Scooter Gang around. Maybe we we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. <sighs> okay, just make sure you're home by dinner. All right, thanks, Mom. Let me check out the ki kitchen real quick, though, Mom. <laughs> Some potted plants. Ooh, a squeaky toy. Ooh, a purse, a fancy purse. Look inside, yeah. What you digging in my mom's bag for, Sonny? You found pepper spray. Take it, yes. You got pepper, we need protection, Kel. Whoa, my mom had pepper spray? That could come in handy if we run into any trouble. Good thinking, Sonny. Yeah, good thinking. You totally, you were not offended with me going through your mom's purse. That is a serious problem, Kel. <laughs> oh God. A bunch of books, most of are about fishing or golf. Jeez. Pots and pans are scattered throughout the kitchen. Pots and pans. A refrigerator. Open it. Yes. Piles of assorted food stored in foil, cling film, and plastic containers. You can't tell what anything is. Of course. A stuffed animal. Probably, probably belongs to Hector. Yeah, that is a ripped stuffed animal toy. <laughs> All right, bye, Mom. Basil. Are you? Hello, Basil? No response, okay. Well, the gang did say that they were going to like a secret hideout or some shit somewhere. Oh, you know what? They're probably in one of the houses. Um, ooh, a dollar. Ooh. Yes, it is my lucky day. I found a whole ass dollar. Yeah. Knock, knock. No one's home. That's okay. I don't care. I got a dollar. <laughs> oh, hello. <sighs> I thought he would be here. 
Oh, you, you, you and me both, Polly. You, you, you and me both, but he's not here. Hmm. Could Basil be somewhere in Far Away Park? Maybe. I mean, we we came up here earlier, no? Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody, help! Sunny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me, please. Where is his voice coming from? Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from our old hangout spot. The entrance should still be somewhere around here. Is it... Is it here? Oh, shit. Oh, 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 wow. Help me! Somebody! What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't... Because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil, be quiet. Someone's gonna find this place. Then stop picking on Basil. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get... To get out of here. Can you leave Basil alone? Hey, stop it! What are you doing to Basil? What the? Grumble, grumble. It's Kel and Sunny again. Why do you always show up? How did you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We gotta defend our turf. I don't think Aubrey wants to get shanked again. No, 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 no. She doesn't want to get shanked again. She knows better. Aubrey. Uh, go away, Kel. You're, you're, you're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, is this your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it or we'll mess you up. Kel's not afraid. They should be afraid, though, because I got a knife. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. That sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. Aubrey, tell him to stop. I know, you know deep down inside, you don't want us to fight. Right? Of course, fuck, God damn it! Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Sunny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach them a lesson. All of them? Okay, we're dead. I don't know how the game expects me to handle... Oh, okay, 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 it's all at once. I was about to say, there was like five separate. I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to do, like, no, six? Six separate, like, how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> all right, attack. Angel with these strikes, Kel, ooh. Shit, Sunny doesn't have any attacks. All right. Okay, let's focus. And then Kel, you attack again. That's right, Mori, focus. There you go. Sunny focuses. Ooh, ooh, ah. Kel attacks the hooligans, nice, okay. Um. Oh, 
Oh, I know pepper spray. Yes, pepper spray. That should teach them, actually. Actually, yeah, that should teach them. Um, let me do a, a band-aid on Kel real quick. <laughs> Just in case if that doesn't work. Ooh, Sunny, use, use the pepper spray. The hooligans... 1,250 damage. Oh, my eyes. Master, I can't see. <laughs> what trickery is this? Ouch, that hurts. What the heck is this? Pepper spray? Really? Ah, uh, you two are the worst. I solved the problem though, cool. <laughs> wow, we really had to pepper spray these assholes. Shit. No, this can't be happening. How could we lose to just the two of them? Th that doesn't even make sense. I want to go home. Let's just get out of here. You said it. Okay, bye. You coming, Aubrey? Oh. Okay. Catch you later, then. Aubrey is upset. She is upset. Damn. Aubrey. Ugh. Aubrey, are you okay? Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Sunny, why? Why did you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully? But you're all messed up too. Where were you when Marty died? Where were any of you? And you. You're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? Can you chill the fuck out? Aubrey, I... Get away from me! Aubrey! Basil can't swim. Basil can't swim. Basil can't fucking swim. Aubrey, what did you do? Shoot. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Wait, hold on. I I didn't mean to. Sonny, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Go, just go help Basil. I'm afraid of water, though. Kel! Sonny, I'll deal with Aubrey. You have to go help Basil. Kel, I'm afraid of water. Do you want to save Basil? We gotta conquer our fears and worry. Yes, we, we got this, we got this. Amori, don't panic. We're in underwater headspace, interesting. An eerie red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. The door is locked. I guess down we go? Yep, down we go. Oh, <gasps> Mari? Hi, Mari. Mari? Wait, what is that? What is that? Mari? Mari? Oh, she's getting closer to me. That's nice. 
This is pretty deep, though. Mari, are you taking me to hell with you? Oh, we got our knife back. Oh my god! Something drags you- Oh hell the fuck no. I fucking hate underwater things because of that. I am deadly terrified of the deep sea because of that shit. Oh my god, what will Sunny do? Run! <laughs> oh god, okay, fight. Um, skill. Calm down. We got this. We got this. We got this. What will Sunny do? Can we attack it? Sunny's attack did nothing. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Um, calm down. You have to keep going. Don't give up, no matter how impossible it seems. You reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Oh. Okay, persist. Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. Oh, I like that move. Can I have that in headspace, though? I would love that. Oh, Omori got serious. What will Sunny do? Persist. That's right. Oh, we're swimming up! <gasps> He's conquering his fear of swimming! Go, Sunny, go! Is that Mari? <gasps> Is that Hero? <gasps> Hero? Oh, <gasps> Hero! Oh! Wow, he looks a lot like Hell here. Compared to fucking Headspace, they look uh, like actual siblings. It looks like Basil's breathing is steady. But we, we need to get him somewhere warm quickly. Yeah, he's he's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait! Where do you think you're all going? That's enough! Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on, guys. We gotta go. I feel like Aubrey is being misunderstood in this whole entire scenario. Like... It looks like Basil's breathing is steady, but we should bring him back home as soon as we can. Can I save? Oh, okay, hero, fine, God. Oh my God, it's already evening. Oh, no, that's not Basil's house. It was down this way. <laughs> Oh, 
Basil! What happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. All right, let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. I hope so too. All right, and with that, that is enough time. All right, and with that, that is the time that I have for today, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we gotta explore a lot of the real world and gotta uh, see, see a bit more, I guess, backstory of how everyone felt as far as Mari's death and things like that. And Basil almost drowned. But we overcame our fear of drowning, which is awesome. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, hopefully next episode we can get through a lot more content in this and, um, and we can check on Basil's condition, see if they're doing fine, if they're doing okay, and just see what more of the world has in store for us. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you had an awesome day and I'll see you, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.